Hey yo together and very welcome to another episode of the StarCraft 2 Diary! If I can win this, then I'm today on an 80% win streak. However, half of my opponents were 500 MMR below my MMR, so if that counts, I don't know. At least the Protoss was good. <sighs> Man, this game is so challenging. But it's fun. I like playing StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 is really a good game. A fun game. I was long time... I was like, oh, StarCraft 2, no, I don't like it anymore, it's bad, it's too much random stuff, and do do do, and I, I still think there needs so much more to be done with StarCraft 2, like, make the Raven useful, so the Terran, now with the auto turret, maybe he comes back, but Mech doesn't have a gas sink, Bio doesn't have a gas sink, Pfft, Raven is not really useful somehow, I guess, it's, it's too sp Two roles specific in my opinion to work. Swarmhosts are not addressed, however they are not used much. Uh, I, I wonder how the Hydralists are doing now, they got a little bit of a nerf, I would say. You don't see Lurker in TVC at all, which is sad. You don't see Mutalist all that often, so... I know how difficult it is to get a meta established where every strategy in every unit is somewhat useful. But... I would love that. I would love to see Thor drops as a viable option, Battle Cruiser as a viable option. I would love to see, to see, what else? Infestor don't get used that often. Like like the Infestor Terrans, meh. Lurker mm. in PVC, yes, but not in TVC so much. There are units which aren't used that much, so meh, and that's sad. Okay, so I think this is a TVZ. I didn't. So now, now I did switch. Is it a TVZ? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay. So if I would play on Europe, which I'm currently not doing, but if you would see me playing a very use, uh, a very unusual style, which involves three barracks and four factories which is crazy but against Ling Bane Hydra most of the time it works and I saw it just one time mid game um, on MMA stream and yes MMA is back he's going pro again after his two two year career uh, military service he's going back into into Starcraft 2 Championship career, pro career, whatever. And he was just, I get tanks and bio and medivacs and that's it. Like, full Brute War style, at some point, if you would think like that. And it was awesome, I liked that idea. I really did. So, spray my decal. Which actually is not my decal. Normally I have the Terran decal, but on an A I didn't switch it, so my bad. I wanna go try to grab one Overlord. Maybe I'm lucky. Getting out to the Xenaga Watchtower, however, is super risky. Don't try this at home, kids. Don't. Just don't. And if you ever dare to do, I want you. And I'm not responsible for any harm you might encounter while trying this. If you lose a game because you try what I do, then don't blame me, blame yourself. That's all I want. That's all I'm saying. So, there's the Overlord. Bam! I don't think I will get it, but maybe I can scare him, force some reaction. There we go. And go back. So, I just, I just showed him, hey, look, I'm active on the map. Bam! What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? But I'm watching the map, you better be careful, guy. Because if, if you let Zerg do whatever they want, they do whatever they want. But, if you show some, some map awareness, then they are like, oh, oh god, I need to watch my stuff. And, and maybe you can force mistakes out of them. So, like here, you see? Mm. 
Nah! That was bad. It's okay, it's okay. No worries. Uh, yeah. So, that's, that's totally fine. Okay. Glad I didn't make a huge mistake here. And it's fine. Whatever whatever happens here is totally fine. I should have killed both both circlings, but I didn't. So that's that's really bad. It shouldn't happen. Sometimes it just does. Which is super annoying, but hey, that's that's the game. Sometimes that's how the game works. So there we go. It's not good that I took so much damage on my Hellions. However, I can't help it, that's how it is now. Okay, his creep spread is awesome. His creep spread is really awesome. Can't deny that. So, look there! No, 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 you should kill drones. That's, that's what you are, what you are doing here. Killing drones. So I don't know if that was working or not, probably it was super bad. However, I tried it and it will never work again like this, so... But hey, at least I tried something. And you have to, you have to try something in order to beat Zerg. You have to. So what I'm gonna do now is... I will go here. Go there. Get my double armory on the way. And and just try to, to make to deal some damage, you know? So he sees it. So that's good for me. I would say. So as long as this is going on here, that was stupid. So maybe I can okay I can't. No problem, you know, that's that's not a big problem. I do have some Hellions where I can go in again and I, I have to do this, I have to constantly attack him uh, otherwise he just will accelerate, win games, be super nice yeah look at that, now he's creeping all over my place but it doesn't matter so he sees I am here So maybe I can go here, kill some creep. It's all about the pest control, you know. So, and there, yeah, he didn't get, that's his mistake. He didn't get uh, the, you know, spore crawler in position so that's bad for him I would say so now he got Hydras 
but against Hydras I should be fine. At least I think so. Yeah, maybe not, but we see. So, transformation servos. You go there. And you go there. So, that's that, that's that. So, he loses another queen, and all those, all those losses he takes are not good for him at all. They are not good. So, here we are. Killing stuff again. And you see the damage I'm doing here? That's that's actually exactly what I need. Then go there, be annoying. And then take another base. So, and now it's time to go up into a new play. Because it's the 10 minute mark, that's where we want our nukes to go down. And normally I should push now. However, I am quite not sure if that's working for me or not. You know, if I, if I push now, I might just lose because he has so much. Actually, he doesn't have much. No, I can. I, I'm, I'm gonna attack now. This, this is the perfect time to attack. Um, yeah. It might be bad to try and attack him now. However, I feel like it's a good time to try this. Before, before he gets strong, you know. And he loses a lot of units. And we get the ghost. Yeehaw! No, 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 no. And he needs to react to this. He can't, he can't ignore this attack I'm doing here. He just can't. If he does, he loses. And then he loses straight, and then this, this, this hurts, and if it hurts, then... You know if it hurts, it's not good. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do it if it hurts. And he needs to attack at some point. At some point he just needs to. And I don't see him win this at all. Like, I can now kill his drones and force him to go in there. There he goes. There he attacks. Hydra only, which is the worst you can do against Mech. Even if you come from two planks, it just doesn't work. Hydras are. Hydras alone are not what you want. And he was on. Lair tech only? At 12 minutes, that's bad. Sorry to say. What he wanted... <laughs> no, this... I was playing bad, to be honest. I wasn't playing really good. Uh, I went into the ghost at the 10 minute mark. That was nice. And you need to do this. You need either go into ghost, if possible. No? Um, I, I should have thrown uh, one or two scans somehow at the 9 to 10 minute mark to see his, his tech. And with the Hellions, guess what? Normally, you you auto brain and scan the main, but his tech is there. There is his tech. He he is chosen to tech here. Bam! Infestation pit, hydralist then, uh, bailing mast. So you scan there. At least scan for the lair. If you see the the hive, uh, I mean scan for the hive. If you see the hive, then scan for Ultralus cavern or greater spire. You need to know. If there's Hive, he can instantaneously go into Viper, he only needs Hive, no Spire there. So you know, you need to spread your tanks, and my tank spread was good. If you spread your tanks out, make sure 
that only one blinding cloud can touch one tank at maximum. Not two, not three, definitely not, definitely not four or more. One tank, one blinding cloud is at maximum allowed to reach one, one tank. Of course, you spread yourself out big, but it's better to spread yourself out big and somehow try to cover those choke points. Like pushing in here was 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 yeah. All those tanks didn't cover here at all. But you have a fall, you have a point to fall back on with your hellions. I didn't have many, but normally you want to have hellions, one or two Thor maybe I would say, and a lot of tanks, and then Vikings against the uh, uh, Vipers. It all it also works if you go Liberator Ghost, so you can EMP the Viper and they can't abduct the. Liberation sounds and then you push forward with Hellions against Ling Bane, tanks against everything else, and ghost against you know Liberator and, and you have it. So at 10 minute, get your ghost. I, I go for ghost. Ghosts are awesome. And if this push wouldn't have worked, or with this push normally, I should first of all I should be at 200 supply if possible. So my macro was really bad. His wasn't good either. So if you see the unit lost. Nah, it's okay, maybe it's okay to be on 160 or 80 now, instead of being maxed, because of the transition and the Hellions and Liberators I throw away. But I killed so many units, like that, that's a big deal of units I killed. And with the Ghost, you go nuke. You nuke th two Ghost Academies, I go for three. I want to have one nuke there, one nuke there, one nuke there. And if he even if he just pulls and doesn't know where it is, then you nuke there there and uh, 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 maybe his army I don't know just do something nuke him distract him and while you do this force mistakes push in catch him in an unfavorable position and crush him his upgrades were quite yeah mine were also very bad I should be on the way to 3-3 three, three now but well that's that's okay so that's it with, with today. I won quite a lot of games. I'm very proud of myself. I'm happy. Mac is viable somewhat. And look at that. Not too bad. So today we won quite some MMR. Like almost 100. Look at that! 5,000! Almost 5,100 MMR. And I never thought I would go into Master League 1 with Mac. However, it's possible. I can play Mac. And it's so much less frustrating, I would say, than Bio. Unless you lose your army in seconds, which also can happen with mech. Get caught off guard, you lose. But that's a story for another time. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day, take care, bye bye.